I think one thing I really like about our studio is the yes can do attitude that Anne brings and that our fellow members of our studio bring. If we have a piece that we want to play, the answer is yes, let's make it happen. If we have some sort of idea, no matter how crazy it is, we can always find a way to work with it in one way or another and try to fit it in. Um, and there's just so much opportunity to explore different different ideas and um, collaborate and it's it's just such a great environment to just use your imagination and your creativity and it's been a remarkable experience and you learn so much. I guess like it seems like everybody wants to be your friend in the studio which is pretty is pretty cool I have to say. Another thing that I really, really like is uh, the fact that we really get to do everything in this studio. Um, and that's another aspect of that uh, somewhat non-competitive nature, is that everybody gets a chance to play everything. So you're going to get a chance to um, play, you know, classical music, you're going to get a chance to play in the orchestra and in the wind ensemble, and in symphonic band, and you're going to get a chance to do chamber groups and a horn ensemble. And um, Anne is a big proponent of jazz horn, which is a lot of fun, um, which nobody else really does. So getting a chance to play everything and getting a chance to play everything with other people in the horn studio and really just making music and having fun is something that I really love and it's just, it, it's amazing. Yeah, I really like that we as a studio explore different instruments other than just the typical double horn um, that we get to play on natural horns and various other instruments. I know um, that was um, that was pretty much a deciding factor when I came and visited Lawrence as a junior. I, um, I, had, I had just met Anne and we were playing and, and we I had come to her home and we were playing duets and she brought out this giant alpine horn and I, at that moment, I, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm coming here. This is, this is the spot. One other thing that I appreciate is uh, the sporadic performance opportunities. I guess that's how I'll phrase that. Um, of uh, playing randomly in front of uh, freshman studies lectures or out at um, protests around the city or even getting, uh, when I sadly had to go home for the spring term, getting a text from my friend saying, there is somebody playing Alphorn on their roof and it has to be Anne. Um. <laughs> I, I love the morning warm-up. Um, I think it's personally a really relaxing way to start the morning um, because we, we kind of all understand that everybody's tired. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's a great way to start the morning um, it's, it, because it's not just great for my face and for my playing, but there are aspects of stretching and meditation and different things like that. And we incorporate sometimes excerpts, different teachable moments into the warm ups that I can take with me for the rest of the day, things to work on, um, little aspects of my playing to work to improve for the day. So it's a really good way to start my morning uh, on a positive note first thing. One thing that was really nice. Um and just, just made me really happy and feel really included was um, at, at, one of, at one of our um, horn ensemble classes, um, it was, it was like pretty close to my birthday and like I was very surprised to see that four of, four of the members of the studio just like got up and like played me, um, serenaded me with a just happy birthday. And, and this beautiful arrangement by um, one of the other, um, someone in the comp studio, um, brought tears to my eyes. We had a studio trip to Lawrence's like summer home, York London, uh, which was a lot of fun. I felt like that really brought the studio together. Um, we were already a very close studio. It was in the middle of second term, but it really, it, it made everybody, even the people who uh, were a little less talkative, or maybe the people who we didn't get to interact with as much because they weren't in our ensembles or so on and so forth. It, it really brought everybody together um, 
and it was it was a lot of fun just like playing hide and seek around this giant cabin and watching coal fall into Lake Michigan. <laughs>